So I am Janet from One Sister, and thank you all for coming today. And my newest, <laughs> what do you want to see first? So this, this is the newest fabric line from Henry Glass. It should be coming to your stores now. And this is Folk Art Flannel 3. This will be a new pattern. This is called The Mountains Are Calling. <laughs> and it's, um, it's all done in flannel. I was a little worried about piecing with it. This is a, uh, like a storm at sea unit. I used a Trirex ruler. But as you see, they, it all goes, goes right together. It's called The Mountains Are Calling. And then it's, I don't know if you point out this cute little box down at the bottom. It says Wander. Okay, so this will be in the Henry Glass booth um, tomorrow, and again, the fabric is just now shipping. Mine is not even out of its box yet. <laughs> and the pattern, I'm uh, working on the pattern currently. It'll probably be ready here by December. Pardon me? No, this is going to be a single pattern. I just, I have an upcoming trip to Australia and I just was not going to get a book done this fall. So this is going to be a single. And I do not have a fabric card for that, but again, that is Folk Art Flannel 3. And it's that outdoor theme, um, wander, get outside, explore type thing is uh, the theme throughout that line. And then um, currently on um, the brand new line, this one is also in the Henry Glass booth, this Plant Kindness. And the uh, project sh sheet for this, is this here's this panel it's got sort of a square rectangle a square floral design and you're going to cut it in fours and then make there it is back here so then you put it up here in the star points and and so this is mocked up it's a digital print so the color is off a little bit but it is in the henry glass uh, booth so then you've got your stars in your corners, and then there is a nice long border print, a swag, sort of an, it's an offset swag. It's got the cute big daisies. It's a more of a floral print. This is a, I called it a pumpkin blossom. So it, it's a nice fall feel to this line. This right here, bird and floral stripe. So you're, I'm gonna, this. Do you want to look at? You want to come up? Do you want me to pass it around? I'll pass. Oh, you've got it in there. So good. Hometown girl. She's keeping me, keeping me on track. So um, the club things that you're here for today is best of days. And if you were at Spring Market, that's when this one first released. And uh, I have worked with just my my strike off so I don't have with these little samples here so I don't I didn't have very big pieces so most of these are made um, just with my existing fabric lines but these are going to be the little there's all six inch blocks this is hole in the barn door and so they're they're smaller prints and then I'm working on club three they're gonna also be six inch blocks and you're gonna get some additional setting. So as you, you do club two, starting in January, and then club three is gonna continue on with those six. Again, some optional settings so that they could either take all of their six inch blocks from the multiple years and do some different settings with them, or they can uh, make these smaller, smaller quilts. So this is the hole in the barn door. This one is called Open Hearted. I did not get them all done. This one is uh, an, a little angel block called Watch Over Me with some applique on the, on, out on the borders. And so this, uh, some of these pieces are actually the strike offs from the line. Oh, Huh? 
No, this is the um, the spool, the spool block, and you can also again because they're all six inch blocks, you could also just stand your spools all upright, and then put instead of stars, you could also put all your different blocks in the into this spool quilt. Alrighty. And then I did not get that the cats are really cute that you and your ABCs. Um, the flower block, I did just like a row of it. And I wanted to show you, Karen, if you would hold the corner, then oops, and then I'll be able to talk and point because I only can talk if I use my hands. So this is we're, here. We're going to turn the hearts. We're going to turn them all into flowers. So uh, instead of leaving it an open heart, then we're going to fill it up with fabric. So we've got the heart flower, and we've got the the star. Here we've rounded it off. But I wanted to show you over here, uh, which you do not have on your paper. If you don't, these are just flip and sew corners but it's just as cute, gives you an, a different little option without those corners on it. So this is just stacked blue and white, blue, white, blue, white, or a color, a dark light, dark light to get these. And then here you're gonna stack them however, you know, two mediums, two darks, and then you pick your back, put your background corners on there and round them off. So it's just all a little bit different in how you stack them and what you do with them. This, <laughs> this is fun. This for, so for the stem, you just cut it apart and you substitute your um, one, I think those are one inch, one and a half inch stems in there and sew them back together to get your stems, to get your little stem block. Okay? And then, um, so you'll have, again, six projects and the uh, that's sort of a, a bonus, another bonus quilt that you can make with that and your ABC block. Does anybody have any questions? Everybody understand about the crazies? I know I am way early, aren't I? Yeah, that took like, yes, Vanessa? So that's a bonus? Well, it's, it's just, it's, it's an additional quilt that you can make. So you've got six blocks. And so uh, you've, you've got the open-hearted quilt, and you've got the spool quilt with the star block, and then there's a posy block in full bloom. So those are your monthly projects. And so then that um, all in a row quilt with the flowers, that is like an additional quilt. You're gonna take those three monthly projects and make that flower, flower quilt with them. Or you just skip the three monthlies and make, you can do that too. It's just a different something to do with your blocks. Does anybody else have any questions? I know I am going to be in big trouble letting you out early. How do you run How would A shop? So um, it, it, it totally depends on how you want to do it. I have, depending on your demographic, a uh, shop that I was just at in uh, Central Oregon, they, you know, they are in a rural area, and so their demographic dictated that they charged a flat fee for the club membership. The girls come in, they would then come in, and you know it's all about getting people into, in the door right? There are a few yes that just come get their stuff and leave, but most of the time, you know, you just want them in the door. And so they charged a flat fee, they had to come in, and then they got their patterns every month. They did not make them purchase the kits. Other shops, that's what how, again, that's how they chose. They knew their clientele was going to have no problem getting the kits every month. So it is just, um, it's a it's, it's totally up to you. All that we ask is that you do not sell the patterns individually at this point. Eventually they will be published um, in book form or whatever, so then your samples will continue to generate revenue for you. 
people that miss the club, you'll be able to um, sell a book <laughs> in the future. So um, again, coming as a retailer, I'm trying to um, give you some longevity to your samples and then give you some options. Again, you can do a flat fee, you can do put them in kits, but again, once you introduce them to crazies and how fun it is, and it helps them use up their stash. And this shop in Oregon, they started with a sample that was just out of their shop. It wasn't necessarily uh, my fabric or Henry Glass fabric, but then once the fabric comes in, you make it up in that fabric, of course, that is what they want is they want it in the fabric that they see. So um, it's just getting them. Okay, yes, sir. To enter the club is uh, I, the last one. I, don't, I haven't got that number yet from Larry, but the last, the first time around, it was $1,000, which um, at that time, it wasn't quite the cost of buying the whole line, but it's probably right there at you buy the line and you get the patterns basically. And they are, since they're um, the blocks, I, I know uh, last market I did try, I told you I would try to keep them on the eight and a half by 11 paper, but it just, there's still the inserts are still gonna be on the 11 by 17. And so, um, you print those, you, you, you are printing those off. I'm keeping the color page just one color page. It's got, remember, it's got the stacking bar uh, on it, so it will help your students know how to stack the order that I stacked them in. And then are you all, do you, have you all seen the Instagram videos on the method? So if you follow either Henry Glass um, at Henry Glass, Co. So Henry Glass Co. Or I have them posted on my Instagram account as well. And there is the first one is about stacking, and then the second video is about um, the cutting and the um, shuffling, and then the third one is actually about the piecing. Gives you the hints on the dog ears and um, how it all goes back together. And then there is another one on chain piecing. Not that you don't know how to chain piece, but how to keep them in order. So hopefully I'm not like putting myself out of teaching business, but. <laughs> what is your Instagram? My Instagram is one, and then sister is S1S-T-E-R. So it's one, so it's just at one sister, but the I in sister is the number one. And the one is the number? It's the number, yes. So it's O-N-E. S one S T E R. Did I answer everybody's question? Okay, you got it. Okay, very good. And again, I do not have a booth this time. I was late getting my market book out, so I have that Scoop Dig Drive book, and that's been doing very well. And if you need trunk, a trunk show, let me know. But um, so that's what I. And then I'll be back in book business by. By spring, yes, Vanessa. Pardon me. Folk art flannel three. Yes. How many pieces is that available now? It's available right now, and I do not know how many pieces there are. <laughs> Let's see. I I do, I do, because I am. You know, I'm old school. So it has 22 pieces. Just because I have my little cheat sheet right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so 22 pieces. It does not have a panel, but it's um, it's got five uh, five of those nice white backgrounds. You can do lots of different things with that. It should be 22 pieces. Two, 22 pieces in the fabric line. And that is shipping now. Mm -hmm. I don't even have it on my website yet, so you're not behind. <laughs> okay. Any <coughs> anything else? Yes. Uh, well, this, do you use justice fabric or everything? 
It is. Plus, uh, so, plus you know, I can't sew without my plaids. So it is just the prints. Um, but then I have also sewn with the plaids in the quilts. So the line is that much. And then these are the, the plaids. And the, uh, the, the linen closet that I have used along with this. Okay. Yeah, so those, thank you. Those would be basics over here. And then, so this is the page of basics that I used to go with the line. 